I'm Mike Cornell. I instructed the Friday Night No Gi class, and today we're going to go over the crucifix from the turtle position. So my opponent's turtled up here, and I'll get the seatbelt grip on him. Okay, that's one arm over and one arm underneath the far arm. Okay, and if he comes up, you can see it looks like a seatbelt. Okay? So once we're here, the reason I get this position is because from here I can start throwing in my hooks and taking the back. If he looks up, I can throw in this choke. And with this, with this leverage I have with this hand on his shoulder, I can raise my elbow up and get the submission right there. I can come here for the full rear naked. But most likely that's not going to happen. Another option you have from here is if he posts this arm up. Once he posts this arm up, I capture with my free leg here. Okay? Once I have this leg captured, I'm going to reach around and grab his, his far wrist here. So now I have this arm controlled and I have this arm controlled. So I have both his defenses taken away. So if we, once we're here, I can start going after his neck with one arm. I could get the submission right here. Most likely he's going to be protecting his neck here. And he's probably going to be freaking out and he'll usually roll over his left side. So once we get here, I immediately come to the core grip. Okay, because if he claps his hands, if he locks his hands and turns into me, he'll most likely escape. So I can't let that happen at all. So if he locks his hands, I can use the power I have in this Kimura grip and in my legs to break this grip here. Now once we're here, I can, I can kind of go for a far arm lock on this side, which is just widening my, my, my knee here and hipping into his arm. Okay, I can control this wrist and go after the neck here. Okay, I could, I could distract him with this far arm bar, distract him with this, and then go for the neck. Okay, but there's another option you can have from here, and that's just to let go of the legs here and start hipping out. Okay, once I hip out, the opponent might feel like he can escape, but if he turns away from me, I have this Kimura grip. If he turns into me, this Kimura grip will stop that as well. So once we're here, I just want to hip out, Belly down, turn him onto his side, and finish the Kimura right here. Okay, if he locks his hands and I don't think I can break this Kimura grip, then I'm just going to turn it into an arm, arm lock. So here, put the leg over, go for an arm lock. So that's the crucifix. There's a lot of different routes the crucifix can take. That's just one route, uh, but it's a really fun position to explore and uh, show up Friday nights for more. Thank you.